Aquaman, King of the Seven Seas, Abusive Ninja. What is up, friends? How are you doing today? What's going on? We got all kinds of things happening today. the things bored out of your mind I'm sorry to hear that hold on we have too much music so I made some friends at GameStop today <laughs> Essential supplies are scarce. And I picked up some new things that are pretty, you know, cute. Aquaman and Abusive Ninja, we had, uh, we had quite the successful scavenging run. At GameStop. Oop. Billies are bad. I'm like, maybe y'all want to see this and I should just like go here. Maybe y'all are watching this in tendas. Bullies are bad. There are other situations where you may These cream pops are going to fuck me all the way up. And I don't care. For such cases, you must learn How was your day, everyone? Using your natural strength. Use anything sharp. Or sturdy enough to swing. Gummy Jabe! Enhance my innate vigor. Mm. Uh oh. What's up, Cena? How are you doing? Hmm. How's that going for you? Why'd my phone just reboot? That's weird. How was your day today, Abusive Ninja? And Cena and Gummy J and Aquaman was just bored. Mm. You all tuned in right away. I didn't even get a chance to share anywhere that I was live except in Discord. <laughs> so give me a quick second to do that. We're having a pretty chill stream today. There's that. Oh, I did post it on Facebook. You know what? We just want to make sure we hit all our channels, let all the people know so everyone has a chance to come hang out and watch me unpack. It's not going to be emotional baggage today. It's going to be actual baggage. Oh, your day was great. That's good. Did you do anything cool? Wait, what? Really? Thank you. I'm very flattered and honored. That's, that's something else. We'll just put on Twitter. And then they let you keep your American Icy. You had a potluck at work? You always having potlucks at work, Kamij. That sounds like an amazing, <laughs> amazing work setup. To be quite honest. Hmm. Let's tweet that. We'll hit up our friends' discords. 
because we got some things. We got some things to share with you all. Ooh, those cream puffs. You made homemade bread? What kind of bread? Is that? Did you share the recipe in our recipes section of Discord? Because there are some people that may uh, really like that. Um, oof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Honey oat bread. Mm. There was this bread that I would get at... Um, Proceed to the vault. Proceed to the vault. Come join this vault. Thank you, Gummy J, for the host. So appreciate you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You got this round of applause. Um, all right, I think we got all of our discords. We're good. Oof. Well, shall we start with just unboxing? Oh, hold on, stay on this. Shall we start with that? How about we, we do a sneak peek, we open some things, and then we see where the stream takes us from there. Also, I maybe should make a, like a, a proceed to your nearest, the fallout shelter. Thank you so much for the host, Sina. I appreciate you. Thank you. If you're registered with your local vault, please proceed into the vault. Let's see. Uh, I want it. Sparkling Pixie. Thank you all so much for the host. What y'all might not realize is that gets you caps. That gets you caps. Thank you so much, Sparkling Pixie. Proceeded to the vault. Walk right in. Walk right in. You do realize that, Gummy J. You realize a lot of things that scare me. <laughs> oh, my God. You're saving those all up. Just wait till I completely recover. I do not have the capacity for anything. Um, okay. Let's see some of these things I got. Let's change it to a little more upbeat music because it is going to make me fall asleep and I can't have that. Not for you guys. You deserve better. Right? Here we go. Ooh. All the things. I don't know if we can unbox all. That's a lot of things, Pixie. Ugh. So I went back <laughs> to my local GameStop. So what had happened was I went back to my local GameStop today after I realized um, I saw something there that I was like, oh my god, I need to get this, and then I totally forgot about it as I was there the first time. So we'll start with that, the thing that brought me back. This is, it was the last one, it was display, but they still had the box, which is still in nice condition. It's dog meat, y'all. So, Let's take a look at him, shall we? I got it at a really good price, too. Let's see here. All right. It is dog meat's ass. His fluffy tail. He wouldn't. That's that's a 
A point of contention. So here's dog meat. There's his butt. Just for you, abusive ninja. <laughs> so dog meat's actually really nicely done. And they had him in a glass case, so he's not like, um, don't worry, I'm not decapitating him. But dog meat has the helmet. It is not cracked. I mean, it's, the cement is cracked here, but that's like by design. It's not cracked underneath. Yes, so he's got the Raider armor on, and if you don't like the way that one look, look. You can very gently... Is it this way? How's your head go on, dog meat? Very carefully, I imagine. Just gotta put the slots on the right way. There you are. This dog meat... <laughs> My drug mule? No. No, that's not what dog meat's for. I mean, maybe. I wouldn't want to do that. Could you imagine? Just take a sip out of this and like... Um, dog meat's actually really well done. So the texture of the fur looks really, really nice. And the paint is really well done on his armor. I really appreciate that. I need to put your neck back up on here correctly there's a little gap right here there we are that sealed the gap and it looks nice like you can't tell his head comes off like you can't tell that dog meat's head comes off he's can we can boop the snoot you're okay I like you, dog meat. So, armor head. They had it on the display like this. I was like, wait, what? Get his little tongue sticks out on both of them about the same amount. They probably just made... No. This one definitely... It's really nicely detailed. I'm sorry I can't hold it well, so my camera is like, ooh. This is nice. I'm happy with dog meat. So I'm going to put dog meat. I'm going to add him to my collection somewhere. My collection is growing and growing and growing. So I think I'm going to put dog meat kind of right there in front of the, um, the lunch boxes for now. Guestimates, I, I was actually looking at display cases today. I'm definitely going to convert the smaller bedroom in our future apartment. <laughs> in my future apartment, it's definitely going to be like a collector's room. Kiddos are gone. They left yesterday. Their plane was delayed for two and a half hours. They sat there on the tarmac. And I just messaged them like, boy, I wish... I bet that you wish that you took that tote like I suggested and had your books and snacks in it. No. We should do with dog mate's other head. You don't get bored on a flight without books. And re Are you one of my children? They do re all the time. What should I do with dog mate's other head? Oh, you don't board a flight. I thought you wrote you don't get bored on a flight. I should put it with the other one. Like they had it on the store. Maybe. 
They really did nice work on this paint. No fingerprints or anything on this one, guys. Speaking of keychains. Oh, so this dog meat head doesn't go in that one. You're right, I probably do have to just keep it on display. Speaking of keychains, and again, big shout out to the folks over at um, GameStop because I didn't want to be that bitch that rolls into, like, I worked retail a long time. I'm still in retail, pretty much. I didn't want to be that bitch that rolls in and, you know, 30 minutes before you close, 25 minutes before you close and, like, take up all this time. So I knew exactly what I wanted. And luckily, um, the person <coughs> remembered me from the other day. EB Games, formerly known as Electronics Boutique. Remember Elbow the dog, their little mascot? So luckily I knew exactly what I wanted. And the person that helped me out knew exactly where to find everything. And we were just like, boom, 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 done. They were super awesome. We did pick up, this is going to be something that I may offer in the future as a prize, or I may offer it to one of the other collectors are looking, but we did pick up um, the last Nuka-Cola Quantum Light. You all make my heart glow like Nuka-Cola Quantum. It's so cute. So we'll see what, what we do with this. This is just today's haul. In case NYC has another blackout, right? Since that's the, thi that's the thing. Now, mind you, at EB Games right now, EB Games, see what she had me doing? Um, at... GameStop, all the Fallout stuff is now, it's 40% off, all, all of the collectibles. Really, they had like, um, I did a thing, again, where they had five of the holotapes left. They, I basically just bought this whole crate, really. Because clearly I have a problem. These were the ones I purchased the other day. So it's like someone maybe bought one, but... Okay. <laughs> so if you need holotapes, I'm your girl. We're just going to put this... I just, I don't know where to put it. You know what, we're just going to put you down right here for now. I mean, you could always just use the, um, the backlight on your Pip-Boy in case of blackout. Um, a little bit, but it's a small space, so I'm like... Like, I definitely, I'm definitely having a lot of mixed feelings, and I haven't, like, I've been mostly pretty good at ignoring that, so we're just going to keep on doing that. All right, this only had, speaking of Pip-Boy, boop. Cute. Ah, so much stuff. It was a nice find. But you know what? I'm a huge introvert and I like having my alone time. So it's like, I'm also super relieved that I don't always have to be entertaining somebody. Johnny. Oh, Johnny. How are you? 10 months. Johnny, how are you, my friend? How have you been? 
Did you sort your whole internet catastrophe out? That was since the ban? Why, why do you keep having to bring... That was an accidental ban. First of all, we have another lanyard. It was, it was a mistake. Johnny, I'm so good. We, you just, we're unboxing. You caught us unboxing my, uh, my latest adventure over to EB, uh, EB Games. Wow. Still. To, um, GameStop. And my, my, my feet are going to be so stylishly warm. The second time was Prey Sickness and was also a mistake. And you were there to kindly fix it for me. And then look at this one. I found Vault 111 ones. So we have two Vault socks. This is my, so now I have three pairs of Fallout socks. It's actually quite comfy. And then let's see. I found me some keychains. Johnny, I got dog meat, the statue. I'll bring them back out so you can see. Tell me everything that I've missed about you since you've been gone. No, you were not accidentally banned again. You were accidentally banned that one time. And I don't know why you all like pointing fingers at me when you and Gritty would try to ban each other on purpose. Look at this cute little keychain. His hammer's a little bent, but that's okay. That doesn't mean he don't know how to swing it. Hello, Dark Bendover. <laughs> Yours comes, your dog meat comes with just the head? Like you have just dog meat's head or you don't have both heads? Because I got the last one at the store and it was a display. Vault Boy had like the, um, the mask? I don't have one that's the head. If you mean the keychains, I don't have one. Oh, congrats, Johnny. Yeah, the keychains, uh, just like, oh, bobblehead, though. Could be that. So I don't have, I, this one, all the stuff at, at GameStop is 40% off, the collectibles, so. I couldn't tell you, I just was like, give me all of the Fallout things that you have left. Did We did the Ron Swanson. We found this cute Nuka Cola keychain. Ooh. And then we gotta find a way to display all of these. And we found science keychain. Who's this one? I try not to pay full price for anything in this life. What's this one? Cap collector? There's a, a local GameStop that has a Nuka Cola clock, and I'm like, I might have to go there on Monday and see if they have chili oil and roasted cauliflower. <gasps> Listen, those are all delicious. It's engineering. What's this? Oh, repair. It's repair. See, I don't even know these games. I just play them a whole lot. All right, so that's this little bag. This was all the little odds and ends. And I got one more big thing to unbox. Meat patties. We're definitely going to have meat patties. I cannot wait to see you, Jay. We should definitely do a co-stream. So here's my little boop. 
And this is only half a one, and they couldn't resell it, so they were like, just take it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Last one, shall we? This one I think I'm going to keep at my desk because it makes sense, right? Oh, cream puffs. I got some cream puffs. It makes sense for me to keep it on my desk. So that's where I'm going to do it. I'm going to move all of that shit that's right here, which isn't shit shit. It's kind of necessary, but you know. And Scott still hasn't given me his stuff so I could send him his prize. Hi, Beantown Brandon. <gasps> Welcome. <gasps> I saw, and thank you, by the way. Boop. Because Beantown Brandon is our newest follower. Thank you so much for that, by the way. How'd you find us? I'm always excited. It's me, silly. Roll up. Ah, okay. What happened to your old account? I've been wondering what's, what happened with you. Did your account, everybody, by the way, two-factor authorization, enable it. It's quick. It's fast, and it will save you a whole lot of trouble when someone tries to jack your account. All right. There was two left of the store of this one. They gave me this box because he's like, it was basically in a, this box was in better condition than the other one. But let's see if this sticker comes off okay. This, I also went back for this because I passed on it the other day and I was like, mm. I did not accidentally ban. <laughs> no, I promise. I promise you're not accidentally banned. If someone gets accidentally banned, which has only happened twice in the history of this channel, the sh rather short history of this channel, it's immediately. Oh no. See, oh, that fucking sucks. I'm so sorry. That happened to Tennessee, and it took her two months to get her account back. Because, you know, Twitch's customer service is so unhelpful. Unless you're, like, a big-time streamer that makes them tons of money. Hi, Amazon. Hello. They'll never make me partner, just because I said that. All right, y'all. This... Is pretty cool. Let's take it out. This is the T51 Nuka Cola Power Armor. Only twice, Johnny. And this is gonna go with the um. It's actually a four port USB charger. So it'll be really handy because my quantum light is USB, has a USB cord. And anything else I order that lights up that has USB or like I can plug my um, game controllers into it. Cause you know, you're always running out of USB ports, right? So this, Kind of chintzy feeling. See the tools laying around. There's the ball peen hammer, the wrench. Let's look at the paint job. So the it actually feels like it doesn't weigh a lot. Dog meat weighs more. Uh, but I understand dog meat's also not housing electrical parts. Or wine or drugs. I can hang some keychains from it. You're right. Um, 
Oh, does that move? Tiny bit. Probably not supposed to move. The paint job is actually pretty nice. I hide my face around behind this so it focuses on this. So you could see the decals here with the Nuka girl. Oh, will it come in the focus? No. How about now? How about now? No? Stop focusing on my face. Anyways. Where is Prey? Prey missed the entire unboxing. That was the last thing for today. I mean, I do have more. So this can go right up here. Because if you think this is everything that we got, <gasps> Prey Cygnus! How did you know? Pray. Pray. You know what? I'm going to get dog meat out so Johnny and Pray can see it. You just know these things, don't you? <laughs> you have skills. So many things, but look. This is from today's GameStop haul. We haven't even opened the stuff, everything that we got from the other day. But this is from today. It's so nice. The paint is so nice. The detail is nice. I really, I check the thing so that it always follows my face. So it's not going to focus on dog meat so well. There you go. You have to. There's so many things that are all the Fallout collectibles. It might, yeah, go this weekend. I think it might end the 20th. I'm not sure. Are 40% off. And then I'll show you one last thing that we'll unbox while you're here. But this, and we just unboxed our power armor. Stay there for it. Which is also a four port. Uh, I'm going to be on the um, ramen noodle and, uh, and water meal plan. But it's worth it. Especially because I can resell some of this stuff. Which is sort of the idea. It lights up. I mean, not right this second because it's not plugged in, but. All right, I want to put dog meat back. I'm sure you all want to see some punching through the wasteland, but I'll have one last thing I'll show you. Let me just put this away. It is so hot in here. I do have some stash. Actually, I bought some Coke to have some rum with it so I can kind of like not be falling asleep. There we go. Because I've had a pretty exhausting, um, as you all know, few weeks. And I miss you all. So I want to give you the best that I got. Alright, this will be tonight's piece de resistance. We're going to unbox Liberty Prime. Hold on to your lug nuts. Alright. Can I work it this way? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry you have a migraine, Prey. Well, we'll open this last one for you and you can go rest and I'm going to punch things through the wasteland here. Oh, 
Let's see what Liberty Prime looks like. Oh. Alright, we may have to do a... A kind of... hit. Kind of jiggle it. You know? You can feel the chunk rippling around. Love it. Oh, this is taped up pretty well. The box is pristine. Oh my. Ooh, the smell of the paint. That is strong. Wow, guys. Hold on. Wow. Come here. Oh my god. This thing is fucking gorgeous. Let's get you in some better light, sweetie. Come here. Look at this. Wow, the paint job is perfection. It's really got some heft to it. Again, not quite bludgeoning a, a home invasion intruder. Heft, but pretty nice. All right, I think he's got a base to stand on. Let's put you over there. Yeah. Wow, this is a great find, y'all. No, Johnny. Johnny, how's your new apartment? I like how this kind of looks like a vault door. Let's see how he fits on there, huh? All righty then. Here. You gonna go in there? You're gonna, don't be afraid to take that step. There you go. Wow. So look at there's his mini nukes. Wow, the detail in this is incredible. Yeah, I, I don't feel comfortable having this around my kids. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Because this piece is incredible. Wow. Okay. I think this is going to be my new fave. I'm like, where should I fucking put it? I did not strategize. I may keep them in the box. For now. It's pretty fucking glorious. Look at it. Oh, man. I think the box for now is also an excellent idea. I mean, I am going to miss looking at you. You are delightful. Look at his fingers. We'll do a little turn. The detail in this piece is stunning. Look at you. I'm glad you have a better roommate. All right, love, let's put you away. Wow. 
this way. Where'd your... There you are. Oh, it's hot as balls in here today. Shitty roommates are shitty, and it's my fear to ever be with one, and I hope I don't have that misfortune. Hopefully I get roommates that I'm known to get along with. again. This is brilliant. I am so thrilled with this purchase. What a beauty. Wow. Liberty Prime. Let's have a celebratory drink. I think we all deserve that after the week we've had. No, not shots. No, not shots. This unboxing has been brought to you and is sponsored by Top Ramen, which is going to be on the menu for the next four to six weeks. I'll never tire of that. <clears throat> Shall we punch some things? I'm out of wine, so it's rum and coke for me, pray. I hope your migraine goes away. Ugh, migraines are the worst. So it was humid as fuck today, but man, my hair is like loving this shit. My skin is also like, yes, moisturize me, moisturize me. And I'm happy to oblige. Let's shrink myself back down to size here. Okay. Oh. That's why right. we were doing some wandering around the other night. How come my phone randomly rebooted? Watch it be now after I purchased all that stuff. It's like, oh, your phone dies. Please no. Okay. Well, let's put on some. Diamond City Radio. Oh, fantastic. Okay. All sales are final. I hear bugs walking around. Take the bourbon right out of that hand. Oop. I've been in here before.
Oof. Weather changes like that definitely fuck up my sinuses. And give me a huge headache, that's for sure. Noodle cup? God knows how long it's been sitting there for. There's these bony hands everywhere. Wait, is it Meyer Lurks? Oh, no. It is baby Meyer Lurks. Oh, wait. Oh, it's this whole fucking thing? <sighs> it is. I remember this place. His little murkies. Um, I'm still fisting my way through the wasteland. I kind of, um, I wanted to gain some levels so I could get my lock picking up a little bit so I can proceed through, you know, quest lines pretty okay. So still evilly fisting our way through the wasteland. Double cross people where I can. I want to get my caps from them first. And then, uh, you know, part ways. It's not always nice. Dang, I had a pistol the last time I was here. What made Rory think that having Meyer Lurks was going to be a good idea for pets? Yeah. Woo. Definitely have a strong fist. pinching. Wow, little guy. Whoa, 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 look at you. Oh. It's like you can't see me. Um, I don't know if I do. I think I, I don't know. I don't really use, um, power armor, Dark Ben, so... Uh, I might not. I do have some Creation Club things, though. Like Tunnel Snakes Rule. That's where I just was. It's going to be down there. Do you have any favorite Creation Club um, mods? This is a pretty mod free run. That one was about to run and tell his friends. Oh, are you actually alive in there? Yep. All right, I know there's a couple down here. There's one, two. And Rory's down there somewhere. There's a third. That one looks gross. I mean, they all look gross, really. Yep. Oh, that was smart. Am I stuck now? It's not Assassin's Creed. It's not Assassin's Creed. Oh! Well, okay. Well, we took care of that rather quickly. 
Oh, it doesn't show up? Eesh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you with that. Oh, that is good eating. We want to go up here first because I think that guy has a key that I can use. I'm pretty sure Rory is a, a victim of his babies. Does that pizza contain pineapple? You know I have to ask Johnny. This is not a pizza shaming channel, by the way. We don't do that here. Eat what you want, how you want it. Even if you want it that way. Tell me why. Oh, there it is. Taboo tattoos. Nice. Maybe he's not here. Maybe? I can't remember. Up here. Ah, damn, psycho buff. I would like to take that recording off. Always remember. I just keep on picking up more stuff. Poor Rory. Oh! <laughs> Wow, you still, you very feel strongly about it, I see. All right, let's turn off the uh, announcements off. Because your Meyerlers didn't seem to give a shit about those positive messages. Let's see what I got to throw away. Three? I guess I don't need that. Why do I have so much shit? Because I'm a fucking hoarder. I just need... I don't need any of it. I just like selling the tools to get money. work for now. Yeah. Uh, right in this Meyer lurky face. I encountered naked Meyer lurk again the other day in Fallout 76 briefly. Like I shot one across the stream and it's fucking carapace flew right off. It's so disconcerting. Yeah. I'm like here clicking this button. Wow. Oh, there's Rory. Rory was a lonely, lonely person. Oh, it's all the Meyerler crab meat. That's what it is. I don't need all of that, do I? Or, I mean, I could just... That'll work. I will make it into all of the food. Yes. All the food that in person I don't like. I'm not a fan of seafood. You. Uh -uh. Wait, I, thir I thought I turned that off. Maybe not. Irish fried key. What kind of pizza did you get then, Johnny? Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm.
Wait, did I turn that one on? So I have... Is it a theory that these relay towers, like... You turn them on, but they turn off after a while. I'm pretty certain. Oh, right. Deacon. Let me sell these tools. I T it. Ah, shit. Right in the eye. Ride stag? That'll work. I found an awesome weapon the other day, too, and I'm, like, a little bit upset that I can't use it. I will be on a more regularly regular streaming program. Um... There's a railroad sign. Um, as soon as I, I'm not at full capacity, if you get what I mean. So there's probably not going to be Jackbox games tomorrow night. I thought I had something to do. But maybe not. And um, and uh, NYC Gamers is tabling an event this weekend at Defend the North. So I may try to see if I can help out with that or if there's any after parties happening after work. Uh, but if anyone's going to be at Defend the North, please check out NYC Gamers. Um, and I have a link to that here. Check it out. See what we're all about. Um, anyone's free to join, by the way, NYC Gamers. You don't actually have to be in New York for it. Uh, although the uh, events that we do... We'll try to be at, at mostly in the New York area. We also do table events, for instance, um, like PAX East, um, maybe PAX um, Unplugged. I'm not sure if there's going to be any presence at PAX West this year, but we do, we get around, you know. Yeah, there you go. All right. We got me some caps. Yes. Monday's going to be my first day off where I don't have anything to do, but I will probably do some deep cleaning. I am in a kind of spring cleaning kind of mood. You know, out with the old and with the fallout stuff. So, uh, we may take care of that, but I'm going to try to have a long stream on Monday. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled streaming uh, program here for your all enjoyment, you know, or non enjoyment, or just hanging out and chilling, or what have you. You're welcome for any of it. Help yourself. Oh, Johnny, I actually heard a new song. Not a new song. Wow, they're getting wrecked. Wow. But that song that we have on, on our one of our playlists um, is actually a French song. <laughs> they redid it in English in this playlist that we had here, but... I, was, I heard it at work as a French song, and I was like, wait, what? Can't get away from Johnny. He's here even when he's not here. That could be handy.
There's all that mire lurked me. This is why I'm over cucumbered. You really are, and I appreciate that about you, Johnny. Who are these guys fucking up over here? Alright, you know what? Let's just see what's next in our trade craft. I guess I can just fast track it. Let's return to Virgil. Because we can finish this playthrough and then we can make um, Willful Jukes' wish come true of finishing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And then we can move on to the next game. Melee might be my new favorite thing, though. Yes. Oh. I sure did. I'm evil, though. You should have. It doesn't matter. Give me the simple explanation. It will hijack the signal the institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was biosite. Um, bioscience. Okay. Don't doubt me, my dude. My guy. Alright. You know what? I never, in like, check Virgil out after he gets the serum. Oh, man. I guess I do have to talk to people, huh? with my haul <laughs> from GameStop today. You all don't even know. All right, there's this death claw that just takes a nap right here. What happens if we just go up behind it and uh, punch it right in the head? That was kind of cute.
It did not like that at all, is what happened. Oh shit, did it just pick me up? Yeah, oh boy. Oh wow. Maybe that wasn't like the wisest of decisions? Why can't I fucking... Zero chance to hit! Alright. Well, whew. I mean, I should have made friends with it, but I don't have that perk. Actually, let's save it first. And then we'll fast travel to that spot where I'm pretty sure there's bears. Bears! Um, I forgot it could pick you up, but yes, it can. It picks you up, slaps you around, tosses you like a rag doll. Go ahead, pray, Cygnus. Do what you gotta do. I hope you feel better soon. Love you too, sweetie. Mwah. Get some rest. Jeez. Why do I need to carry around all this shit? Yep. Where are they at? Oh, it's north. Oh, god damn it. With the greatest of a blom. Getting higher. We just sneak right past all these bears. Thank you so much, Prey. I appreciate you. That's for the next time you decided to... I do have a lot of food. That's true. I also have a lot of drugs. I just gave it a love tap, was all. Oh, <laughs> I take your meats. I see BMs. Look at all these rat stags. Oh, it's a little herd. Baby, kick the wall out. Alright, in the butt. Oh, head over heels. And you get a punch. And you get a punch. I, I can't run. Am I over encumbered again? Yes! By one point. Eating all these crisps should take care of it. But see, if I take the red... Not the hide. I should take the red stag meat and eat... Uh, and make a red stag... Grilled red stag. And it gives me carry weight. God damn it. Are you shooting at Rad Stags also? What's up, Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? I like how you run through across Deacon randomly as you progress through the wasteland. He spies on you. You see him in Good Neighbor? You see his little campsite where he was a uh, 
not much of a disguise. He was like creeping on you before you came out of the vault. Under a slocum. Deacon is kind of bay, yes. Well, Deacon is a little bit of a um, creepy bay because he spies on you, but. Let's continue with the mission. What are we doing here? The survivors didn't have time to grab it. So we're getting something important here. Let's find it. We gotta do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump in the information. Now, I'll take it. Alright, show me your rail signs, Deacon. I can't remember if Deacon has a secret little quest. It's like a starburst. Come on, Deacon, man, pick up the pace. I see it. There's another arrow. Ooh, a tuxedo. <gasps> Nuka Cola Quantum. Oh, damn it. Now I'm a bit walking the same speed as Deacon. I bet you he's still behind me. Yep. That's a lot of sugar bombs. Is this where he's living? Mine is in the shop. Ooh, bobby pin. Ricky Dalton. Oh, fuck. Wow, he was really pissed about it. What's up, Faded? How are you doing today? As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. If you need anything else, better ask soon. I need you. Where'd the thing go? There's a behemoth down there. Hey. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? 
Oh, yes. <laughs> Ricky's mad at everything. My gut has not been treated nice lately because I've eaten way too many spices things. Eated. <laughs> I haven't ate since I last eated. Let's take the tunnel. Sure you do, Deacon. Let's talk to Ricky Dalton over here. Yes. It is. It's gonna be a fucking ballad of the ages. I mean, I love spicy food. I just eat ones that are not. Like, I ate ghost pepper chips yesterday for the fun of it. I got to seven before I had to tap out. And. Like, my lips were numb for hours afterwards. Your sacrifice will never be yeah. Like, I like, like, there's tapatio, yeah, that goes on everything. But it don't need to be ghost pepper no. chips. Never let him get old and I have this Haitian hot sauce. Oh. That I had with some patties the other day. <laughs> oh, it was so good. But it was like, and that was also the day after I ate, like, a whole bunch of bread and chili oil. Oh, my whiskey wore off. Um, like, there's a lot of chili oil. Like, every day, you know. What's up, Glowing Pear? How are you? Um, well, let's do a... What's gonna buff me up? Let's just get grab a buff out real quick and drop all this shit off. Because clearly... Being over cucumber is not a fun thing. Those patties, though. <laughs> Sorry. Jay, we need to get there. So I found out Patty Place opens at 8 o'clock. And they start selling out, like, they're like, we sell patties, like, it's directly from the oven. They just fly off the shelves. So we need to get there early. Yeah. Yeah. That's when they open. I mean, we could get there at like 9 or 10, but we probably... When we got there the other day, it was like 11.30 or noon. And it was like slim pickings for what was left for the patties. Uh, let's, let's go over here. Glowing pear, like pterodactyl. Duh, man. Who remembers that? All right, let's drop some shit off here. Faded, what's new with you? What's been up? They have variety, but like, so when I went there and it was noon the other day, there was only like one beef left. There was a bunch of vegetables. There was like maybe four codfish left. And we ordered that and like we ate them and then they just put out a fresh bass chicken ones. So it's like, you got to get there and either wait till the next round's done or eat what's there. I'm just saying, man. What's going on? Uh, I'm going to drop off some weapons. Look at this. No, it's okay. Y'all, I am so excited about dog meat and Liberty Prime and all the stuff we unboxed earlier. 
They're so fantastic. Oh no! Oh, Faded, you have to get the thing where you glue it back on. You gotta, like, scrape it off and then glue it back on. Mm. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't trust the railroad to help, uh, or the Minutemen to help me out. No, 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 no. I mean, Tinker Tom is the one who logically would know the technology enough. Besides maybe the Brotherhood of Steel, I'm just not siding with them. Not gonna happen. The Liberty Prime is so, I still, I wish I had it out. I put it back in the box because it's so fucking gorgeous that it was like I had to immediately put it back. Like, I could only stand the sight of it for so long, and I was so scared that, like, I don't want anything to happen to it. <laughs> it's pristine. It's just beautiful. We had such a great haul from uh, GameStop the other day. It's incredible. Beautifully, it's beautifully made. I can show you dog meat, though. Want to see dog meat? Bark. Dog meat. Look at dog meat. Dog meat's also very nicely done. We picked up dog meat today. And dog meat, don't be alarmed. has interchangeable heads. Dog meat's also very nicely done. His armor is painted really nicely. Yes, isn't it great? Oh. This was the last piece left at my local GameStop and it was the display. Honestly, it was $20. Visit your local game stops if you all can. Get your Fallout gear. We also have more to unbox. We'll probably save it for Monday. We're going to have a long stream on Monday. We're going to have so, so many Steam codes to give away. We'll probably give away like 10 of them on Monday. So get ready, loves. If you like free video games, I have just a ticket for you. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? I didn't realize Deacon was following me still. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Actually, we'll give it a real save. All right, we're going to turn the radio off for this quest just because I cannot listen to Travis go on when I'm trying to do something. Deacon is such a creeper. Also kind of bae, but a creeper. He follows you all over the place. He was creeping on you before you even emerged from the vault. Oh, fuck. I demand answers. Just go already, Deacon. He creeps on you in the vault. He creeps on you in Good Neighbor. Where else does he creep on you? Doesn't he creep on you in, um... Not in Diamond City, right?
deeper inside. Let's go deep. Someone left a rail sign here. This one. Poor Roger. I always pick up a biometric scanner because I always need one for some quest down the road, right? He was not in the vault. He was perched, like, at a, a lookout kind of above the vault. If that makes sense, there's a seating area not too far. A regrettable occurrence. Maven. I see your box. I'm not a fan of Nutella, I'll be honest. I don't need any of that. My crepe order? Crepey crepe. Yeah, I'm not sorry about it. I'm not a fan. But also, I'm not a peanut butter fan either. Gay gasp. <laughs> that always cracks me up. That's why you like me so much. I'm a lovable, I'm a likable monster. Wow. Wow, okay. I grossly underestimated my uh, entire life right there. Why do I have a melon? Um, we will do a stim pack. See, I have so many of them. And a psycho buff. How about that? Mwah. I'm the monster you love to love. Squirrel and stick. Huh. <laughs> she moves in monstrous ways. know why you say goodbye I say hello have you been faded what's new what's exciting brick oh okay punching my way to victory is right you access those maglots. Alright, there's... Hello? Did you? Can't handle that, Deacon? Apparently not. It's weird how they swing their arm around like, oh shit! Almost punched Deacon's lights out. Dang, this was where y'all slept, huh? Joe has a massive 
Yes. You're entering a secret. You boring, that's not true. I had a pretty okay week. I'm like so so tired. Whoops. I will be ready. I definitely should switch to... Because I got so many of those. I'm sorry our app wasn't working yesterday. Man, I'm only basic lockpicking. I don't know why I need so many fucking lockpicks for it. Oh, shit. Hey, what the? Is this the way? Data banks. What's the other way? You always gotta go back and look. Wow, Deacon, you still fucking around with this guy? Jeez. War Chiefer, what's going on, friend? Oh, how are you? Oh, so good to see you, friend. Uh, it's good to be back to uh, regular ish scheduled programming and hanging out with you all. I truly, truly appreciate you all coming through today. Damn, can't open this one. Ooh. Snow angels, though? You like being that cold? <coughs> what the? Wait. Can't we just talk this out? Wow, they set me on fire. Making snow angels in the Arctic. As the penumbra skies cast darkness upon the earth. That sounds like, um hypothermia waiting to happen but okay oh good I'm glad war chief I'm currently interested in the breadstick cracker to Nutella ratio I thought I wouldn't have Nutella left over well I mean time to just put that tongue of yours to work huh right into the canister of Nutella you can probably reach right to the bottom Gas mask, hazmat, bottle cap mine. There's Carrington's prototype. Um. Oh, sure, I'll take it. A deliverer. You turn that over to Desdemona, she'll have to make it. Should be easy to power up and get out since we already hear the Oh, thank you so much, guys. I always appreciate hanging out with you. I really, truly did miss you, and I'm sorry I'm not, like, to my 100% right now, but we'll get there slowly. We will get there. I always walk into that. Or like, or Deacon triggers it or something. I think there's another one in here, right? Just the jangles? I have until Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> Why? Are you gonna make me do shots? I can't do shots. Relay. Nothing. R E L A Y. Sweet 
Cobra. Hookah. Oh, that's a wine glass. Wait, did we open the doors? Accessing those mag locks. I know. <laughs> It's like geez I see you and James just about the same and like James actually lives in New York City Ooh, a stash you can keep the pipe pistol though cute okay let's go up here oof you get to see the collection for real war chief or look we went to GameStop well, a couple days ago and today, and we got so much cool stuff, and I still have more unboxing to do. Look at what we got today. Dog meat. Dog meat's beautifully done. I'm so happy. What was that movie? Robin Hood Men in Tights? I'm so happy. She can't say happy. Oh, Robin. I'm so happy. That's right, there's more here. You'd think those things would be able to instantly, like, transmit to their home base where they, that they're under attack. Turret control, deactivate. That movie is a classic. Power elevator, how convenient. Women. I did not realize Dave Chappelle was in it until I went back and watched it. I was like, wait! This young guy looks familiar! If only I could see you more, Gummy J. It would be a nice thing. You help me be a little more social. But you also respect my boundaries, which I appreciate. Captain Picard, isn't it? I can't remember. Yes. Bungees are important. That's why you don't try to make me do shots every day. I would die. I would die if I did them just one day. Another tuxedo. I got a whole bear and say, he was in that. I feel like I saw him in it and I just can't remember. And Tracy Ullman. Turn the mad. What is going on? This one, electro -tune. Super long loading screen. Same, same, except Potter. It is hot. Oh, you're right. Not King Lear. King, um... Was it? Not King Lear. There was Prince John and... Oh, shit. Oh, this is this guy creating that distraction, isn't he? Well, this guy is not distracted. <laughs> oh no, that's that behemoth. Wow, Deacon, really? <gasps> well, Ricky Dalton was already dead before I went ahead and blew him up. So that's fine. This is fine. King Richard, that's right. I remember the laundromat. Oh, fuck. 
Wow, Deacon. Jeez. That's right, it's always a time over here. Yes, the mole, and he's like, what mole? <laughs> oh, shit. God, just the sound of its steps. Oh, for fuck's sake. Deacon, really? We'll take the meat and two hot plates he's got on him. What's this shit over here? I never cleared this out, huh? I remember there's ferals everywhere in this area. They just all over the place. A sneeze and achu, yes. That's right. And I was like, this guy looks familiar. And I choose Dave Chappelle. But did I watch that movie with you, Gummy J? Were you there? Was it just them? Turin, Dogmeat says hello. This is one of our latest additions to our collection. Because we've had... Quite the field day, scavenging at our local GameStop. Where all Fallout merch is on sale. For ridiculously low prices. Oh, there's a feral there. <laughs> Else I blew it. Call of the Royal Locksmith. Oh, really? Wow, that guy... That's... Doesn't that defeat the purpose, buddy? Mm. Nuclear protection on a budget. Oh, no. This is just you. Maybe. The irony delinquent, what is going on? Maybe. But I mean, what kind of person would give an order that's like, go into the preservation shelter and hug this mini nuke? Hello! What's dog meat for hello? Burp! I can't bark. I don't speak dog. I don't protect this no matter what I see I gotcha make sure no one else gets hurt because if the budget protection can protect from the outside it protect people if something blows up on the inside no however the bomb was intact but perhaps it was to spare uh, people that was nearby for further damage right good thinking Turin Maybe so. You know, maybe the budget stuff does work out. I thought in the universe that the Pulaski uh, preservation shelters were kind of a scam. Okay, Gummy J. <laughs> Protection by a fixation. That's hilarious. Right, that does not bode well. Uh, well, uh, pieces of you. <laughs> Boop! Right in the face. I mean, those are good ideas, though. Good ideas. Where's this shadow coming? the light. One of these windows, I guess, huh? I want to, I might on Monday visit a, a different GameStop 
And see what else they got. One of them nearby says they have a new Coca-Cola clock. Oof, it was. Oh, this is something else we picked up. I've already assembled it, but this is going to go nicely right into uh, the Pip-Boy. What kind of discounts? 40% on collectibles, and then um, and I think at most the, the ones that are like $10 off, so 40% off of that. Um, and then um, things like uh, the Power Fist, the Plasma Rifles, the Plasma um, Pistols, and the Sledgehammer, I think, too. The Super Sledge all got reduced to $20 a pop. Which was ridiculous. So those are what we're going to be unboxing on Monday as well. When the air's on fire, oxygen disappears. It's more there to come for people before they croak. I see. Um, some of them were like $80. One of them was $120. It was definitely a steal. It's cheaper. Uh, it was only in the stores, too. You could not get them on the website for those prices. It was in-store only. What? It was a nice deal. Honestly, I, and I bought out almost the entire store. <laughs> You should check it out if you like collecting Fallout stuff. If anything, you can always, um, like, resell it. The dog meat statue I got, um, like, it was originally $40. I actually got it for closer to 20 It was the last one, and it was the display, so they were, like, they discounted it a little bit further uh, for me. So I was like, thank you. Thank you very much. And it's in beautiful condition. I want to bring out, I want to bring them out again. Can I just show you something? Yeah, get it for yourself. Get it as a gift. Or, you know, again, there's a lot of collectors out there. So if collecting's not your thing, it's bound to be somebody else's. We're going to make this bigger. Just because I'm so, like, amazed at how incredible this is. We won't take them all out. This was the last one at the store. The box is pristine. I mean, everything's fucking glorious about it. You know, sometimes you get things and you're like, oh, I don't love this so much. Or you like it, but the quality is kind of like, man, not this baby. And I'm so thrilled with it and so like, oh my God, I immediately reboxed it because I'm kind of, I don't want to put it on display. I don't have a nice display for it yet. For reference, this is basically what my Fallout um, collection looks like. Not all of it, but a, a lot of it right now. So it's basically all right here. I don't have a proper place to put them all. So that's all my junk. So we're just going to show you this. Fucking, the details are incredible. Here we are. This is Liberty Prime, if you don't know. If you don't know, that's okay, because, you know, sometimes you just gotta learn things from the beginning. So, the, the camera's always gonna probably... He's really kinda heavy. It's gorgeous. Wait, look at... 
The detail is incredible. The paint job is exquisite. Like it's just very nicely done. It's not metal. Um, I mean, it's heavy, but it's not metal. It has a little give to it. So it's probably some type of like resin, but the paint's incredible. <gasps> Nightmare. Look what we got. Like there's a movement in his hinges. I think you could take it apart. Like say, now say if you were someone like, cause there's a lot of people. So if you go on Facebook um, and Fallout collectors, there's a lot of people that get their collectibles and they're so talented, they'll mod them. So like for instance, some people, you can gently kind of take the glue uh, like kind of take the glue apart. They have, they like some people explain it and they, they'll put walkthroughs and they can repaint it so that it kind of has a rusty look on it. Uh, but this is obviously like new, fresh. I almost said Optimus Prime. <laughs> Liberty Prime. You know, and like, can you focus on on Liberty Prime, please, camera. Like, he's brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. And he has a base in, like, the traditional kind of vault door style shape. So these little knobs on his feet. It's not metal. It has some heft to it, but it's not metal. Throw, is that on Fallout 4 mod? I imagine not a Fallout 3 one. Liberty Prime would shred Optimus Prime. <laughs> Probably. Um, but he's just, I'm so thrilled. I am so thrilled with this. Y'all have no idea. What a happy, happy visit to, I'm cradling it like a newborn baby. Oh, there goes my headphones. What a happy, happy day and a happy visit to my local GameStop where we found this pristine Liberty Prime. I'm putting you back. Yes, I am. I'm putting you right back in your back. Death is preferable alternative to Transformers. That's hilarious. That, and let's, um, here's some of our other, I wonder if, it's not really well lit in the corner, so let's see if I can turn that. So here's dog meat with dog meat's interchangeable head. Don't be frightened. We got our Nuka-Cola Quantum, which glows, and our power armor here which um, basically it's a four port USB charger, which I thought would be nice. Oh, thank you for checking in. So I can plug in Liberty Prime to there and I can plug in my different gaming controllers, right? And I can plug in my Nuka-Cola mat, like lamp, not lamp, but don't you fall again. Oh, that's my headset typing numbers. And that's my phone falling. As long as it's not a collectible falling, we're good. Even though the headset kind of is a collectible. So let's see. We'll do this. And we'll t see, because you all make my heart glow like Nuka-Cola Quantum. That's how much I love you all. probably not ingesting it so it does take batteries you can put batteries in it or you can have a USB plug it turns off after 10 minutes 
My heart is probably uh, warm and extra salty. Just so you know. We'll turn my light back on here. <laughs> extra salty, probably a nice, uh, nice bit of cholesterol hanging out in there for you. Oh, lovely. I'm telling you, I don't like, I mean, I like heat. I don't like hundred degree heat. The humidity is definitely, my hair is loving it. Hangnails are awful. I'm so sorry. Do you remember that meme where it, like, it was just a picture of the hangnail right there and someone like went to pull it and it went down the hole Oof. it's like I can feel it my hair and skin are like moisturize me moisturize me humidity and I'm just like all right but do you have to leave me feeling sticky afterwards I mean buy me a drink first um okay shall we get back to the game shall we get back to punching things My disgusting toilet humor. Ah! Delinquent, what's new with you and what's new with you, Nightmare? I mean, you know. Don't act like this is your first time here. <laughs> this is par for the course! Ooh, a sequin dress. What's over here? I bet it's that thing where there's a bunch of mole rats and one raider. Oh, there be robots. I hear them. Yep. Well, I don't know who they're fighting. But you know what? I'm going to mind my business. Mass, gravel, and sand. Ah, there they are. Your friendly neighborhood mole rats. My sneak is pretty, pretty okay. Nice. By the way, all my shopping is uh, sponsored by the meals I'm going to be eating for the next month. Top ramen. <laughs> These unboxings are brought to you in part by Miss Soul Survivor's Disgusting Diet of brick ramen noodles for the next month. Here, yeah. supplies. Okay, we can leave here now. All right, so I guess we gotta go back to Deacon at the old North Church. Fantastic, let's go. I can't do voice acting. You guys remember when I was trying to do an English accent yesterday? No stale tuna here. No t no seafood for me. Oof. But definitely, I can live off of pasta and a lot of butter. Basically. They really do. I'm not knocking them. An AI voice. Please, bye, Cena. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Please proceed to the nearest vault if you are registered with Vault Tech. Jaffa cakes. Jaffa cakes. J A F F A is Jaffa. How how am I saying that wrong? I still don't understand. Where's Princess Katie? Do you really want caps? The scab magazine in New World gives you plus three strength and endurance if you have under a hundred caps. Really? Oh, end game stuff. I don't. I. I don't really purchase much with caps, to be honest. Like I probably got a shit ton of them. Yeah. Oh, this whole commonwealth is gonna be my bitch. 
evil Nate, there's gonna be a reckoning. See, evil Nate is like, he'll do your quests, he'll run around for you, he'll get the job done, but just you wait when he comes to collect. Because you think this paltry 50 caps you give me is going to be, uh-uh. That's a lot of caps. What's your play style turn, the mad? Are you evil? Are you nice? Sugar and spice, all of that. I kind of want to eat some of these ramen noodles right now. <laughs> That's a lot of nuts. I love that movie. Every word he said was true. And then some. You loot everything. Okay. And you sell a lot? Do you have a preferred vendor or do you just go around? Everything? Do you like play by yourself and do strong back or a ramen burger? No, what's a ramen burger? I don't even know what that is. Thank you, Desdemona. I guess I'll join. Specific looting armor, strong back. Strong himself in savage beacons. I see. A burger with a ramen bun? Like, cooked ramen? How do you get it? Oh, you have strong. I don't, I don't get it. Um, give me more options. I'll be fixer. It is pretty apt. Look at me in my Lynn Manuel Miranda hairstyle. Mm. A carry weight robot. Huh. Please do, delinquent. And sear it till it's slightly crispy. Okay. Now, what am I always complaining I don't have? Lock picking? Then there's always something else I want. I could use strong back. Just get me my lock picking. Actually, fuck. I want to level all these up, too. Damn it. <laughs> Good night, nightmare. Sleep well, friend. Into, I don't know if I I don't know if that sounds good. I do have a Tomatron. I do. Huh. A pack robot. Boston after dark. I remember like stumbling around, not stumbling, but I did stumble, literally. It was like one o'clock in the morning, I was going back to my car. And I tripped, I was a little drunk, and I kind of tripped over the curb because Boston's very like bricky and uneven sidewalks and everything. And like I had quarters in my pocket from, from doing laundry and they just scattered. Uh, they could, like flew out of my pocket and was scattering everywhere and I, had to pick as many up as I could, like an asshole. They won't be much good in fight for Philidin, can't be beat. That sounds amazing. Do you have a specific robot build you like? This is fixed. 
Wait, did you send me a recording of Jaffa Cake? Just put a fucking E at the end. <laughs> you are so great are you for explaining things for me, Gummy J. I appreciate you go above and beyond the call of duty. Get back to the bench starting a new game in the morning. Ooh, look at you. I sure do. None of your damn business, Desdemona. I gotta weigh in. The only thing that matters is if you wanna help me. It seems we taught you the lesson Oh, what kind of mods you been working on? That's a smart call. But you still A floating saw hammer robot with a devil skull just destroys everything? I'm gonna have to do that. All right, what's Tinker Tom need? Trying out mods? Oh, I see. Which ones were you trying? And allowed me the chance to watch how a dessert cookie thing is made. I guess I do have to make it. All right, let's do it, Tom. Let's do it, Tom. It's the big one. Hopefully, it'll be easier than assembling Sean's crib. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? I see. Well, what kind of system are you running? What are the specs? Skip to the part where we build the thing. The plans cover all the high energy ships, but they're missing a ton of engineering detail. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bin here, to stabilize and reflect the platform, just needs some high grade metal. I got you. You'd better. Okay. It's gonna need some serious space. I know Pam was running numbers on the site for a new safe place. It's got workshop, good location, and the full blessings of her predicted algorithms. Once you set up a safe house, you'll drop off the material. Or you could build your own platform somewhere else. I guess. All right, let's build a safe house then. Shit. Deacon's record is the best. This demon told me to give you this. An extraordinary feature. Here you go, Carrington. Target point. Without a thick of train, an Osmond can't leave anything about you. Des has invited me to join the HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with the second. Oh, I see. But that sounds like you could run just about anything on it. Am I wrong? This is a mod-free run, but I do li like I do like rods. I d rods, mods. I discovered. Sorry, I keep leaning over so I can like read what y'all are saying to me. Watch the attitude, bub. Old man Stockton. Mm. 
wrong with that. He insists that we get our intel from the death world. Okay. So, is there anyone you like? Oh, I wasn't aware we had completed the geniality of this. <laughs> I thought we were rescuing since. Oh my, he's got a point. I like this guy. It's a common means of communication for us. When I am for you, you make contact with Stalker. He won't give you the time of day. Whoa. Do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Fuck this guy. Okay, let's go to Bunker Hill. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Ugh. Let's talk to Pam. Pam, I am. Does she make more than one safe house? On wet dream mod, we want to let me initiate a vault tech training simulation. This plucks out the perks the completed game character earned and imports them to a new character under the guise of a series of games played as vault tech simulations. New perk points would be locked out until the previous character's level was exceeded. Huh! <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, let's go. I get to set up a new base. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Faded. That does sound like a really cool mod. Maybe you should visit, um, Captain Coots about it. I kind of imagine something like that, um, that, uh, simulation that people were trapped in and doctor who was it bergen bergman is that teeth that's his teeth okay whew where she want me to go now mercer i thought we could have used that as like regular fucking regular regular Minutemen shit. Bergman, yes, from Fallout 3. I see. Cool. That's kind of what I imagined when you said that. Oof. So, I'm super, super tired. I'm gonna, ooh, kill this. And call it a night in a, in a few. Because, man, I'm tired. Frost. I'm here to help. What's the problem? What Frost one? The rum and coke is good. I'm just, I'm so tired. And I probably shouldn't have had a drink. But I was excited. What's Frost, Faded? Do I know that one? constant bad weather. I love True Storms. That's one of my favorite mods. God, I gotta build you defenses. Alright. Give it a quick a save, I guess. Oh, also, I should, like, save myself from dying. Well, what we'll do is we'll give you one artillery. I think they usually have people coming down from, ah, uh, you know what, I don't remember what way. Is it this way? Is it the other way? You can be for certain. 
Yeah, I'm like suddenly fading out. Fading like faded. It's this way. Gunners. There you go. We defended you. Bye. Overhauls tend to go too far from what I experimented with. Horizon Frost and Bogus Hunters. Everyone so far tries to merge Ford's perk system with Three's skills and condition system, or as new settlement system that's unnecessarily complex, or all of the above. Huh. Survival times 100 in winter. So it's a, like a like a nuclear winter. No, thank you. That sounds intense. Faded. Okay. Let's go to our sort of friend, I guess, over here. Oof, and I do have to work tomorrow. Uh. I just need to make it till Monday, guys. And it might be okay. Let's talk to what's his butt. Who's over here doing? Lord knows what. Oh, right. Manning the artillery. Right. Well, that's a few gunners that won't be attacking us. A beatdown of a game so. with no real object past survive. Oh, objective. I see. The sanity system. There's a sanity system? A new settlement. That's what I wanted. But you know what? I'm going to save it and we'll do it another time. Probably tomorrow night. There's not going to be Jackbox games tomorrow night because I'm so out of it. Uh, but thank you all so much for hanging out and watching things, being unboxed and watching me punch things and fist my way through the wasteland. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a wonderful night. And let's see maybe if we can drop in on someone. How's that sound? Let's see who is still up. Yes. Oh, this is an old friend of mine that I used to raid with. I actually never see them on. Let me just check to make sure that that's a, a thing. And I'm not just like... And I'm not just like gonna raid an empty channel. Like we've done so many times. So nice hanging out with you too. You know what it looks like? Um, that's gonna be a not a go. No, that is a go. Um, but not a go. It's a go, but it's not a go. It's not a go. Um, let's see who's on. Bear with me. Let's see if we can discover someone new. I'm just going to check this out real quick for you. Yeah, 
Let's give them a visit. Boop. The next unboxing is gonna be Monday. There's also gonna be a lot of Steam Keys to give away, so if you like Steam Keys, you maybe you wanna come hang out, you know? Okay, y'all, we're gonna go check this person out. We're gonna bless them with our Monday. Monday, Monday, it's gonna be a long stream. Faces, faces, let's go. 